Julia Reed, UKIP MEP for the South West. Just explain about yourself. Who are you and, and where's your experience? What have you been doing over the years? Well, I'm a research biochemist by profession with a PhD in pharmacology. So most of my working life has been involved in research, uh, particularly in atherosclerosis and how it um, is affected by people who have type 2 diabetes. And what, what kind of work is that in, in, in layman's terms? Because it's very difficult to, to understand um, for people that don't know about all the, the medical terms. What kind of, um, uh, kind of areas of medical research have you been looking at? Well, type 2 diabetes actually um, has a wide spectrum of um, conditions. And we know that if you're overweight, you have a tendency to have type 2 diabetes. Having said that, we know that if you're very fit and active, you can be overweight, but you don't get type 2 diabetes. So the interest has been trying to see um, various aspects of this. And in my research, I was looking at adipokines, which are tiny little proteins that travel around the body and trying to see which drugs actually were most beneficial and also which diets. In fact, uh, the last research project we had was looking at which diet was best for people with the metabolic syndrome, which is a precursor to type 2 diabetes. And does your interest in, in medicine perhaps give a hint to the, the, the area that you might take an interest in in the European Parliament now you've been elected because things like licensing drugs, um, uh, what's written on drugs packaging, um, all kinds of, of, of medical related issues, um, uh, there's, there's some kind of uh, view here in Europe or there's European law on it. So is, are those the kind of things where you might be taking an interest? Well, we, well yes, and there are also groups within the European Parliament who are discussing uh, the best way perhaps that people with type 2 diabetes, the best treatments that could be recommended throughout the EU28. Uh, I also have an interest in osteoporosis. There's groups for that. And I also did have an input into the open discussion on clinical trials because the European Parliament's um, legislation on, on clinical trials made it very difficult in the United Kingdom to actually conduct clinical trials and since then they have um, made amendments to try and make it easier because all that happened was um, you had clinical trials being conducted in China where there aren't so many conditions and it was very difficult, as I said, to conduct clinical ex um, research in the UK. You've got a, a bit of a, an advantage over some of your other new colleague in that you've been here before you've been you used to work with um, Trevor Coleman the, the the former UKIP MEP how does that um, help you to to get started because it's it's all very new for those that have have never perhaps even never been in the building before well obviously I have an advantage in that I know my way around the building which is itself is um, quite difficult but having spent many years in working in a large hospital or in a large university, actually coming here, I didn't find intimidating at all. Uh, obviously, I represent the MEP uh, when he's not here, so I attend committees and I followed the committees on his behalf. So that is an advantage, I think. And you, you're representing the southwest of England in in this, you know, having been elected, um, how is that going to influence your work? How are you hoping to perhaps represent your constituents out, out here in Brussels or report back to them from, from, from here in Brussels? Well, obviously, first and foremost is our obligation uh, to the people in the South West to work hard and to do as much as we can to benefit the people back home and not just in the South West, in the whole of the United Kingdom as well.